Hey everyone, this is Matt Lusto with Luxor Technologies giving a quick demo on how to ensure you have the latest version of Lux OS. Today just so happens to be the day we release support for the S19 and S19 Pro. But these methods will work for any updates in the future. To get started, we're going to go ahead and log into the GUI by copying and pasting the IP address into the browser. Once the GUI is loaded, go ahead and click on the Settings button on the left hand side of the screen. Once you're looking at the settings page, take note of the current version of Lux OS. This will help you to verify the update went through properly when it's all done. Also, make sure you check out the change log at luxor.tech changelog slash firmware to stay up to date with the changes we're implementing. Which update method you select depends on your mining application and how closely you follow Lux OS developments. If you're glued to the Luxor Twitter account watching for updates, auto update may be a good option for you. If you're more of a set it and forget it type miner, or you have a large fleet and can't have them all rebooting at once, you may want to leave auto updates off. Either way, you have control of which mode you want to operate. I'll elaborate a bit more on the two methods. Manual updates work about how you'd expect. Click on the link and it checks our stable repository for the latest version. If there's a newer version available, it fetches the update and installs it. When auto update is on, LuxOS will check for updates and download them in two cases. First is for each power cycle, like a software initiated reboot or unplugging then plugging your miner back in. The other is time based. LuxOS will check for a newer version every hour. For this machine, I'm setting it to auto update, but I don't want to wait for an hour, so I'm going to set it to auto update and then click on the button to check and install the latest version. While we wait for the update, I'm going to move over to a vanilla S19 we're running at one of Luxor's self-mining operations, which we use to test Lux OS before shipping it. You'll notice we have quite a few profiles here, so you can underclock or overclock your machine. If you're one of our beta testers, you'll need to run the auto update, or any update, to get those profiles. That should have been enough time. The update itself goes pretty quickly, but coming back up to nominal hash rate can take about 5 minutes. Now that we're back, you can see that the version has been updated but we don't see the full effect. After reboot from the update, refresh your browser to get the latest GUI version, as shown near the end. This one says 16.1. Make sure you verify a proper functionality with respect to hash rate and fans. But other than that, the update is done. Happy hashing!